Hello there YouTubers! Here we have the power supply of an HP laptop. You can probably tell by the title of this video, right now this is not working. Now, I want to go ahead and plug this in and you won't be able to see it because I'm going to hold it right up to this camcorder's microphone so hopefully you can hear what kind of weird sounds this thing makes. Okay, I think you are all able to hear that. So, this is definitely having some problem with uh, starting up. I mean, it begins to run, then something goes wrong, it detects that, shuts down and starts over again. So, something screwed up with this. So, let me go ahead and try to open this up. Of course, HP does not give you an easy way in. There are no screws under this label, you will have to cut this open. So, let's see if I can get that done. And here we have the case, cut open. I was intending to cut all the way around, but somehow it worked out this way, and <laughs> actually it's not too bad. Well, here we have the power supply itself. As you can see, it's uh, quite a neat little device. Nicely shielded and all that. Really gotta say, this is a nice one. But it doesn't work, so I'll have to uh, see how I can get this uh, shielding off there. It should just pull apart, at least in theory. Now let's see what is hiding under that. Here we have the power supply all taken apart and you can see we got quite a bit of shielding and quite a bit of insulation going on. It was quite a job disassembling this. And then unfortunately they have all this uh, this crap over it. Also on this side. Now, what I initially did was I took out these output capacitors, because usually those go bad and then the whole thing doesn't work anymore. But they actually tested good and they are, if I'm not mistaken, those are actually some brand name capacitors, so... Shouldn't have any problems with those. At least not yet. Uh, well, it finally turned out to be a problem. Well, I did, I took some measurements and I was just reading a dead short between the, uh, the output and ground. It was like, you know, 0.4 ohms or something like that. So obviously power supply is not going to start up successfully with that kind of uh, load on it. And, well, eventually the problem turned out to be much easier than I expected. And uh, actually, much, much more of a uh, much more of a problem than I expected. Uh, problem to repair. A cable has a short in it. Now it kind of surprised me because the the, um, the cable really didn't look to be in too bad of a shape. Uh, there must be a short somewhere in this piece. Now I did find a um, a part where the insulation was damaged, so you could see the the uh, shielding, the ground. Um, but, uh, so I, I finally I said, well, you know, you ain't gonna be fixing this if you don't, uh, if you don't do it, so I just cut the cable right where that uh, damage in the insulation was, but uh, I, it must be somewhere in here, so I actually, uh, yeah, cut out quite a piece of the cable unnecessarily, unfortunately, but, well, you know, I, I do have a bit of a length left, so that's okay. And this does not have a short in it. So, I guess what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna try to get the, in, the insulation off of this and uh, oh, try and solder it back in. And just wanted to show you that cable. As you can see, it's a double shielded deal. We got uh, the ground as the outer shielding, and we got the uh, the operating voltage as the inner shielding, and then in the center we finally have a line marked ID. That's of course where the computer can communicate with the power supply to determine whether or not it's a genuine HP product. So this is going to be one of those deals where your generic universal power adapter is not going to work. 
Anyway, I'll have to uh, insulate this a little bit. Then I can solder that back in. And I don't know what I'm going to do for strain relief. Well, I guess there's just not going to be any. <laughs> I'll just be careful with it. Well, that sure doesn't look pretty, but it does work, believe it or not. Just measured it, and I do have my 19 volts back at the output plug. So now I can put this all back together. And here we go, the final test. Got this uh, back together. Very high-tech looking, so we now turn on this power bar. This should start up. Well, it doesn't seem to be making any funny noises. Let's go ahead and plug it in into the laptop. It's not doing too much. It doesn't have a battery in it, so it probably won't. So, see if this uh, turns on. probably not going to start up. Does, oh, it does. What do you know? This uh, normally has uh, quite a few problems of its own, but oh, well, there it goes. Never mind. Yes, that is from a ThinkPad. That's not original. Uh, so, I guess, judging by how Windows is starting up, this is fixed. With the one exception that I will have to be very careful about that because obviously if you pull on it it's just gonna rip out and then it's not gonna work anymore. Well, thanks for watching and see you again soon. In case you wonder how I was able to use the laptop up until now with that power supply being broken, well, I got it along with this docking station, and the docking station, for some reason, comes with its very own power supply, which does not fit into the laptop.